Good afternoon, everybody. It's Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. This is April Davis PI. And if you look at my little background, you will see little Kelsa. She's over in the corner of the sofa there. Not the toy cat, but the one that's uh, closest to the table. Anyway, as my viewers already know, I'm a lifelong private investigator, been a PI my entire adult life. I'm basically uh, semi-retired now, and I'm a 22-year part-time reseller, and for maybe a little more than two years, I've been a part-time YouTuber. I wanted to make a little video. This is reselling related, people. So if you're not into that, you can just tune this one out. But I think the resellers, the online resellers, will get a kick out of this one. Okay, for the online resellers out there, have you ever heard of the eBay store reset? There's a little bunny behind me, <laughs> a little semi-feral bunny. If you saw her behind my shoulder, she was, nope, this way. <laughs> anyway, there was this old rumor that back in the day you could actually, you know, when you could call eBay before you had to wait for eBay to call you. New hat doesn't fit very well. Okay. There was an old rumor that you could call eBay and there was a little magic button that the rep could push and it would reset your entire store and all of a sudden all your sales would start coming in again. Now, was that real or was that an eBay urban legend? I don't think there's any truth to it at all because if you wanted to reset your entire store, you could just bulk edit your listings, end all, sell similar, and boom, do your own reset. But there's a new reset rumor that's out there that's really, I say it's quite comical, but there may actually be something to it. I heard about it from my new YouTube friend, Jeff at Hayfro Sells, and he mentioned a guy named Darth Thrifter. I just found him last night. I'm about halfway through one of his videos on the same subject, but apparently the gist of it is, is that you need to reset your store all your items every four days. Now for somebody who's a full-time reseller that has thousands of items, that is a huge endeavor, even if you're just using bulk listing feature. Uh, I would warn anybody who wants to try that, be sure you know what you're doing. Maybe try just a couple at a time to test the waters, because if you click the wrong thing in the bulk edit and you accidentally delete all your listings, I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> Don't delete all your listings if you don't know how to reset it. But that's the new rumor that you reset it every four days and see if any sales come in. Now, as everybody knows here that's been watching me for a while, I'm very, very part-time. I had, last month I had about 50 eBay listings and um, I actually sold like maybe 10 or 12 items. I couldn't believe it. I'm just down to my leftovers at this point. I'm not putting very many new things in the store because they're just getting harder and harder to find. You go into a Goodwill and that's just in, in Los Angeles where I'm at, it's impossible. You know, they have shoes at the Goodwill now that are used for $65. How is any reseller going to be able to make money doing that? I don't know. The, the, the stock around here is just getting more thin and more thin. So I'm just literally trying to get rid of what I already have. So I had about 50 items at the beginning of October. I sold maybe 10 or 12 on eBay. I sold one on Mercari. That's another story. That was a return nightmare. And I've never had a return on Mercari ever. But maybe I'll make a video about that separate from this. I also had a Poshmark sale, a pair of shoes. Shoes do very well on Poshmark. And I had like two or three marketplace sales. So, you know, I added a few items here and there that I picked up at garage sales, but October was pretty good, and I didn't reset anything other than my monthly reset. 
you know, eBay, they automatically renew all your listings now every 30 days, whether you want that to happen or not. So depending on what level of store you have and how many free listings you get a month, you want to be really careful about these resets because for full-time resellers that have thousands of items and have multiple stores, those resets every four days, you could use up all your listings really quick and then find out, you know, when you get your monthly eBay statement that you've been hit with a huge um, extra fee for all those new listings. Uh, even though it's a relisting, you're still getting charged every time you end a listing and either list new or resell the similar item. Like you will be charged the, what is it, 30 or 35 cents now? I mean, I know some of the bigger resellers have the big stores where they probably have like, you know, five or 10,000 listings, but still that's going to add up fast. If you have thousands of listings, some people have 40 or 50,000 listings. Can you imagine if you had to do a reset on 40 or 50,000 listings every four days? I mean, how would you have time to even go out and pick your items or do your shipping or go to the post office or UPS or FedEx? You would just be editing all day long. So I wouldn't recommend that for like, your entire store. But I've decided rather than just wait the, you know, 28, 29 days before the 30 day renewal comes up, just do a test last night and I would do 10 of them. So I added, I added an item yesterday, a new item that put my listing amount up to 35. And I just literally lying in bed before I went to, to sleep, I just clicked on 10 of them. I didn't do a bulk edit. I was literally lying in bed with my iPhone. And I went through these 10 items one at a time. I took the 10 eldest or oldest items and just did the reset. Sometimes I changed the titles. Sometimes I dropped the price a penny. Others, I, I added two or three or $4 on the price. And surprisingly, less than 24 hours later, a very old stale listing that wasn't getting any traffic whatsoever sold. Like, I9, bingo. Wow, $12.99. I'm rich. It was these little men's tuxedo gold and black studs that you put in a tuxedo. I mean, I didn't even know what those items were when they came to me in a massive lot of jewelry. I was like, what are these? They're not cufflinks. What are they? And I have two sets of them. So now I can, hey, I'll list another set tonight and that'll be my new listing for the day and hopefully I'll make another $12.99. <laughs> I can go out and buy lunch in Los Angeles, maybe Subway or <laughs> Baja Fresh. Maybe I can buy me some tacos. And it is Tuesday, so hey, if I if I have another sale before the end of this broadcast, I'll go out and buy myself two tacos. Wow. I mean, that's how I look at it. It's It's for me, it's lunch money. But anyway, why don't you go subscribe to some of these newbie resellers? Uh, I already did a video about Jeff at Hayfro Sells, but I now know the other guy's name is the Darth um, Thrifter. Uh, not Dark, but Darth. Uh, D-A-R-T-H Thrifter. I can't recall his first name. I've only seen like a part of one of his videos. And uh, now I'm not ripping off their content. I just want to try to help push these guys out because uh, even though they're not newbie resellers, they're newbie YouTubers and uh, one's bigger than me and one's smaller than me, I think. But, you know, that's all they do is reselling content. And you know, YouTube, it likes its niche channels. And I don't have a niche channel. I do mostly news, local news with diehard Angelino and I'm a, t a Tolucan, proud Tolucan, diehard Angelino. But I do have several videos on my channel as well about reselling. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Give me comments. I don't care if they're positive or negative. Share the videos and go watch uh, Hey Fro Sells and Darth Thrifter. And if you have tried this new reset that everyone is talking about online, amongst the YouTube resellers. Please let me know if it worked. I'm going to try it again tonight and see if I just coincidentally have a new sale, well, another sale or an, a, a new sale on an older item by tomorrow at noon Pacific time. 
because that's what happened today. And I couldn't believe out of all the items that were left in the store, that was the item that sold. It was getting no traffic whatsoever. And then I did this reset and I haven't had time to go into my analytics on eBay yet. I look at my YouTube analytics more than I look at my eBay analytics. So I don't know how many clicks I had compared to the day before from yesterday to today. Did it go up? Did it go down? But I did sell a much older item that had been in the store for probably five or six months. And I raised the price by, you know, three or four dollars and boom, there goes the sale because I tried this reset. Now, some of you are going to laugh at this and think it's just a coincidence. I mean, you had 10 or 12 sales April last month. You're going to sell stuff. That's what I do. I go out to garage sales, thrift shops, estate sales. I don't buy a lot. I only buy something that I know will resell for more than what I paid for it. I don't have any death piles. My storage, I do have a storage unit, but that's for my PI business, all my old files. I don't have any reselling items in my business uh, storage facility. So whatever doesn't fit in my carport and doesn't fit in my home, I don't have it. So if things don't sell after a while, they go to the Goodwill as a donation. I have no storage whatsoever. I will never have a death pile but here we go. Try this. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of this, if it'll work for you. If it helps one reseller out there, then I've done my job. Thank you and see you. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed.